old school, aren't we? I'm we probably like... going to make Eddie Raven mad when I do. I bet everybody in the world has asked you this question at one time <laughs> or another. People get you mixed up with Eddie Rabbit. Did y'all have a lot of trouble with that down through the years? Yeah, we did. Uh, I got a great picture of him and I and a disc jockey up in Akron, Ohio, but we were playing Cleveland at this little club there with a house band before I had a group. And, uh, and this lady kept coming up to the bandstand and she kept saying, knew I should have married you, which was a rabbit song. And, and I just kind of kind of did bluffed it off and didn't. And the second show came in between. I said, I asked the guys, I said, do you all know this song? And they said, yeah, so tell me some of the words to it. <laughs> and, all. and so, so, we started the next show and we did a few songs. She said, do I should have married you? <laughs> and I said, the band kicked it off and they started playing it. I sang the, the eight or nine lines they had taught me and she was thrilled about it. She didn't know the difference and I didn't tell her, <laughs> you know? I told Rabbit about it. He said, well, I do the same thing. <laughs> so he was a nice guy. y'all ever work in the shows together? We did uh, two things, I believe. And as a matter of fact, when I was at RCA, I think he went to RCA for a while, or maybe Electra, one of the labels when I was at, they were talking about us doing an album together. And uh, we got to talking about it. I said, yeah, it's going to be Rabbit and Raven, Grab It and Run. <laughs> <laughs> and they liked the idea, but it never got past that. Wow. But what a neat guy, you know. He was. I got to know him a little bit in his later years. And uh, he was. He was a really nice guy. Good songwriter, too. Oh, yeah, yeah. I, I, was, I did, uh, I was... One of those shows in California, the Midnight Special or something like that, that he was on, and I and I was on it, uh, and he uh, he just tore them up. I mean, the band was so his band was so good at that point, you know, and he had the hits, and and they'd just done the beer commercial. It said that people, Bowen said that was the secret to his success, the beer commercial. Yeah. I think that's the secret to a lot of people's success, beer. <laughs> <laughs> and a lot of people's lack of success as well. Yeah. What you been up 